Chapter 671, Wealth, Greetings, Lord Song, Greetings, Lord Z. On the dark Azure Hall Plaza, the martial practitioners saw the arrival of Song Zayun and Z Zizhan. They immediately moved forward and saluted respectfully. The battle between Tu Shik and Han Pu had been stopped temporarily. All eyes landed on Song Zayun and Z Zizhan. In the future, both armament sect and blood spear can move unhindered on the scarlet tide continent. Song Zayun continued what he was saying, Profound Heaven Alliance and Eight Extreme Temple will not think of them as enemies. You must abide by Profound Heaven Alliance's decision. Are we clear? Clear. Everyone hurriedly nodded. In the past, the five factions attacking armament sect had been secretly led by Profound Heaven Alliance and Eight Extreme Temple. Profound Heaven Alliance and Eight Extreme Temple had felt great pressure because armament sect had been growing larger and larger, and Blood Spears Land Z's cultivation progress had been astonishingly fast. They did not want a third copper rank force to appear on the Scarlet Tide continent which was why they secretly ordered for armament sect to be met with calamity. Then, the battle between Profound Heaven Alliance, Eight Extreme Temple, Armament Sect, and the evil race had continued for a long time on the Scarlet Tide continent. Subordinate factions such as Dark Azure Hall naturally followed the two big copper rank forces and also participated in the fighting. They knew the complex relationship between Profound Heaven Alliance, Eight Extreme Temple, Armament Sect, and Kin Lai. They had originally thought that Kin Lai would not dare to even come back after leaving the Scarlet Tide continent, let alone coming back to create a storm. No one had expected that after two short years, when Kin Lai once against stepped onto Scarlet Tide continent, what he was met with wasn't Profound Heaven Alliance and Eight Extreme Temple's wrath but Compromise. Profound Heaven Alliance and Eight Extreme Temple showed weakness. Subordinate factions like Dark Azure Hall and Seven Fiends Valley did not qualify to participate in the battles of the higher ranks, or even know of them. They could only obey, or be forced to. This was the chasm between the ranks. Announce the final result of the competition, Z Zizhan urged. When these words were said, the noise on the plaza quickly calmed down. The other three hall masters, and the head of the Department of Internal Affairs gathered together and discussed privately. The martial practitioners of Dark Azure Hall suddenly became nervous. Two Shikh frowned with a dark expression. He knew that his chances in this competition to become Grand Hall Master were not high. Don't worry. Sometimes, even near the finish line, the tables can turn, and the result can change. Song Seiyu suddenly came over and comforted with a small smile. You might not lose. Tu Shik stilled. Because the two family had been close to Kin Lai, after the fight between Profound Heaven Alliance, Eight Extreme Temple, the evil race and Kin Lai had finished, Tu Shik gradually lost the support of the Song family. Even Song Seiyu who had always had a high opinion of him had temporarily stopped secret communication with him for various reasons. He knew that these were the consequences of his choices. In the past, when Seven Fiends Valley had targeted Liyoshi, he had stood up, and used his status as the second hall master of Dark Azure Hall to suppress Seven Fiends Valley so they would not go over the line. Later on, he had sent some of his commanders to enter the territories of Seven Fiends Valley with 2Z to receive the Ling family and Dark Azure Hall. Not long after, the Ling family's status as one of the evil races had been exposed. Because Tu Shik had helped the Ling family multiple times, the Song family had been dissatisfied. Consequently, in this competition against Han Pu, the Song family did not support him and their silence could be said to have been silently recognizing Han Pu as the next Grand Hall Master. Tu Shik knew all this. Now Song Xiaoyun had come and spoke to him to tell him not to worry. There were words within words, and Tu Shik was startled by the remark. Because this was the first time Song Xiaoyun had spoken to him first in the last two years. Kin Lai. Where did you go? I thought I would never see you again. Tu Zi and Zao Qian did not care about the tense atmosphere of Dark Azure Hall. They tightly hugged Kin Lai and then punched Kin Lai's shoulders a few times. You knew to come back? The two's eyes were slightly red. Kin Lai balled his fists as well. He said, I wouldn't dare to forget you guys. Tumo looked at the trio from the side with a faint smile at the corner of his mouth. He nodded. Where is Kang Zhu and the others? Kin Lai asked. They are fine. They are all in Dark Azure Hall. However, the matter of choosing the Grand Hall Master is important and they do not qualify to come here. Tu Zi laughed loudly. Later, when the results are out, I'll take you to see them. TSK TSK, it seems that you've been doing good. Zhao Qian examined the crystalline war chariot, and be clear in her eyes. This thing is a treasure. She looked at the spatial ring on her hand. I heard the value of one is worth ten spatial rings of this quality. That is almost ten thousand earth great spirit stones. The quality of the spatial ring she wore was ordinary, and belonged among the rudimentary ones but even so, she still had to beg her father to get it. She felt that in lies crystalline war chariot's worth was most likely more than ten times that. She was calculating this using the Scarlet Tide Continent's prices. In reality, because the Scarlet Tide Continent was not skilled enough in refining spirit stones, their ranking of spirit stones was chaotic. Girl. The crystalline war chariot is worth almost fifty of your spatial rings. Song Xiaoyun had been standing next to Tu Shik, hearing Zhao Qian's words from behind him. He laughed and then added as he turned his head. Zhao Quan turned to stone. Fifth fifty. She didn't dare to imagine it. Tu Shik, Tu Mo, Zhao Qian's father Zhao Duo, and the other's eyes sparkled as they looked at the crystalline war chariot and King Lai who had come on it. Sister Qian, you like this crystalline war chariot? King Lai smiled. Of course I like it. A thing that can fly into the sky, who wouldn't like it? After her shock. Zhao Qian calmed down and said teasingly, What? Are you going to gift me one? Yes. Kin Lai laughed. Don't joke around. Zhao Qian shook her head lightly. Zhao Duo, 
Tu Shik and the others all had amused expressions. They all thought that Qin Lai was joking. Even Song Saiyun and Zi Zizhang thought this. Joke? Qin Lai was speechless. Isn't it just a crystalline war chariot? What is that? As he spoke, he touched his spatial ring. In a ball of bright light, two similar crystalline war chariots came out, and were placed next to the one that he had come with. I cannot be unfair to Big Brother too. I'll give you to you too. Qin Lai laughed as he pulled the petrified Tu Zi and Zhao Qi on into the crystalline war chariot. Come, I'll teach you how to control these things. It's simple. You'll learn once I show you. Tu Zi and Zhao Qi on mechanically followed him onto the crystalline war chariot. Their expressions gradually turned from wooden to overjoyed. They suddenly exploded. Qin Lai. You, you are really giving us two crystalline war chariots? On the dark Azure Hall Plaza, all the martial practitioners that had been waiting for the result of the Grand Hall Master competition were attracted by the shouts of a duo. In a flash, Qin Lai became the subject of tens of thousands of stares. Many people even forgot what the real purpose of the gathering was. Tu Shik and Zhao duo exchanged a look. From each other's eyes, they saw mad excitement. That was two crystalline war chariots. In the past, no chanction of Joyful Union Sect had come on a crystalline war chariot like this. Joyful Union Sect was a copper rank force, Bao Qingxin was also the vice sect master of Joyful Union Sect. In other words, only people with a background similar to Bao Qingxin qualified to possess a crystalline war chariot. But what background did Tu Zi and Zhao Qi on have? The two little manifestation realm martial practitioners managed to have crystalline war chariots given to them by Qin Lian were able to fly in the sky as they wished. The sky, that was the area that fragmentation realm martial practitioners ruled. However, as long as Tu Zi and Zhao Qi on had crystalline war chariots, they could also fly into the sky and travel 1000 miles a day. This was a great blessing to them. Song Saiyun and Zi Zai Tang really at each other. Be it wealth or history, the two great copper rank forces of the Scarlet Tide Continent were far from being a match for the equally ranked forces of the Land of Chaos. Due to this, even though the two of them had significant positions in profound heaven alliance, if they wanted to possess crystalline war chariots, they would need to bleed. The crystalline war chariot that they were riding came from Zi Jingxu. They hadn't expected that. After just two years, Qin Lai could easily give out wondrous things like the crystalline war chariots. This meant that Qin Lai had astounding wealth. Qin Lai's next words proved their speculation. I have more than a dozen of these crystalline war chariots. No need to feel embarrassed. I don't think they're that valuable. Qin Lai smiled. In the land of chaos, after fighting against several copper ranked forces, I obtained many crystalline war chariots like this. Before departing, I took some with me to give them to you. When he said that, the martial practitioners present felt as if their minds were incapable of comprehending these words. Song Saiyun and Zi Zai Tang also inhaled inwardly. You have a lot. Zhao Qi on reacted. Really? A lot? Really a lot? Seeing that she still didn't believe him, Qin Lai helplessly shook his head and rubbed the spatial ring again. Ball of blinding light came out, and then new crystalline war chariots appeared in the empty space behind Tu Shik, one after another. More than a dozen came out. Everyone collectively turned to stone. I told you there were many. Qin Lai smiled, and then moved between the crystalline war chariots to put them away. All right. I will accept this chariot. Ha ha ha. Tu Zi was the first to laugh and patted Qin Lai's shoulder hard. He said, Brother Lai, you really got rich. Good, very good. This old brother will just benefit a bit from you. Ha ha. Boy, you are just showing off. Zhao Qi on glared at Qin Lai before walking happily to a crystalline war chariot with an expression of joy that could not suppress. At this time, the figures of the trio attracted all the gazes on the plaza. The choice of Grand Hall Master of Dark Azure Hall seems to become meaningless after the crystalline war chariots appeared. Han Pu and Tu Shik immediately became secondary characters. However, Han Pu, the side character, felt extremely dissatisfied and discomforted. Tu Shik roared with laughter and his face was flushed as though he would not be angry even if he lost the Grand Hall Master competition after Tu Zi and Zhao Qi on accepted the crystalline war chariots.